Hey, what's going on everyone? It's Sean from All Things EV, and in this video I want to talk about Nikola's production timeline for their semi-trucks. This thought for this video came because I saw a lot of people criticizing their CEO, Trevor Milton, because they thought that these prototypes didn't exist, the semi-trucks didn't exist. I know that's not true because I was at Nikola World 2019 and saw these semi-trucks in person. I saw them driving around. I also got to walk inside of the Nikola Two, they're impressive. They're really impressive. At least their prototypes are. So there's never been any doubt about that. Now, what I did get to thinking is I've actually never seen any photos or videos of these semi trucks on a real road hauling real product. So I decided to take a look at a federal website that tracks the inspections and safety concerns around trucking companies and their trucks that are on the road. This website is called the Federal Motor Carrier Safety Administration. And when you type in Nikola, you come up with one vehicle that is registered, four drivers, and zero inspections. I thought this was quite curious, especially since Nikola and Trevor have been talking up these trucks that they're going into production soon. And so I reached out to Nikola to ask, what's up with this? Why hasn't there been any road testing for these vehicles? And here is what I got. The Nikola Trey was supposed to begin track testing in Germany, but was delayed because of the coronavirus. It should begin track testing over the next one to three months in Germany and will continue throughout the end of the year. This will include braking, top speed, gravel, incline, vibration, rollover, and crash testing, as well as a dozen other categories. Now the Nikola Trey, which is specifically for the European market, is supposed to go into production at the end of 2021 or beginning of 2022 for the 750 kilowatt hour battery electric truck, which will yield around 300 miles. There's no mention of when their hydrogen version will go into production. So it's safe to assume that it's probably going to be later than 2022. Now the Nikola 2, which is their North American product and their day cab, meaning that it doesn't have a sleeper on it, it has been in track testing for about a year and the road testing will not begin for another year. Nikola said that they anticipate beginning road testing for the Nikola 2 in 2022 and deliveries to customers in 2023. Now their Nikola 1, which was actually the truck that they revealed first before these other two in 2016, they have no timeline for track or road testing as well as no production timeline for that vehicle. So despite introducing the Nikola 1 in December of 2016 and the production timeline of their other vehicles, it looks like we won't see any of these trucks on the road until 2022. And this is for their battery versions. Their hydrogen versions, who knows? And by the way, they still need to build out their hydrogen refueling network here in North America. Europe is a little bit further along with their infrastructure, which is why we may be seeing them go into production for their European product first. Another thought I had is if they're going to start producing their battery electric versions first, why don't we know very much information about them? As many of you know who watch this channel, a big part of the drivetrain are the batteries. And there's just really not a whole lot that's known about them, with the exception of a press release that Nikola sent out at the beginning of 2020. And I have some questions about it. Let me read through some of the specs, and I'd love to hear your comments about this down below. Nikola's battery electric trucks could now drive 800 miles fully loaded between charges. Nikola trucks could weigh 5,000 pounds less than the competition if same battery size was kept. This will be the world's first freestanding electrode automotive battery. Energy density up to 1,100 watt hours per kilogram on the material level 
and 500 watt hours per kilogram on a production cell level, including casing terminals and separator, more than double current lithium ion battery cells. This has been cycled over 2000 times with acceptable end of life performance. There's a 40% reduction in weight compared to lithium ion cells, 50% material cost reduction per kilowatt hour compared to lithium ion batteries. So what it sounds like to me is that they've acquired a research company that has done some lab research on a new technology that's not lithium ion, it's something else. And if you're thinking that this technology sounds a little bit too good to be true, I thought the same thing myself. So I decided to reach out to some people in the battery industry that are far more knowledgeable than I am. And both of them did confirm that it indeed sounds too good to be true. Now, this may be technology that's ready to go in 10 years or 20 years, but today, could these be put into trucks that go into production in the next couple of years? I highly doubt it. At least I'm highly skeptical. Tesla's vehicles who have state-of-the-art batteries at commercial production levels are at around 300 watt hours per kilogram. This organization or company that Nikola acquired is stating that they've got 500 watt hours per kilogram. What I think we'll probably see here in the very near future is an announcement by Tesla about 350 watt hours per kilogram energy density. So needless to say, I think that Nikola is a ways away from a commercially viable product. They've got a lot to work on and it appears like from their CEO that he's stating that this already is in existence, that they were the first to introduce a zero emissions semi truck. And maybe that's technically true when they introduced their Nikola One back in December of 2016. It is very, very likely that Tesla will beat them to the market with delivered products to customers here in the next year. What are your thoughts on this? Am I being overly critical about Nikola or am I spot on? I'd love to hear from you down below. A big shout out to Patreon supporters for funding the channel. Thank you so much for doing that. If you're new, consider subscribing. If you're a regular, hit the like button and I'll catch everyone on the next video.